Okay. And I had another idea because I'm getting ready to shoot all these videos for EP3. Okay. Because the way I do it is I just get everything in the can. So I might just take a week, shoot videos for every song, okay. shoot live performances, and then I'm done. Okay. Now I could focus on social media for the rest of that time until it comes out. Like just promoting because it's like really an all day thing. How much of that do you plan to post to like Instagram and other platforms? Like, are you? I mean, it, like... I really. I, so because I'm, I'm literally the boss. Right. So like, I decide. Okay, this is what we're gonna do for this platform. This is what we're gonna do for this. Okay. So I have a whole list of things that I'm doing for TikTok. I have a whole list of things that I already do on Instagram that I'm comfortable with. Okay. Um. So it's just about like deciding for each platform what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm just trying to be different on each platform so okay. that I'm not just reposting the same shit and people like we already seen this. That's fair. Um, J JR, who she was just talking about, literally just told me, stop going to the studio making music. You have enough music. Because I have, after this project drops on the 14th, I have two projects ready to okay. go. So I got music all the way till next summer. Okay. I'm independent. I, I do oh, yeah, what I want. Right. Okay, yeah, Venice. I, yeah, do, yeah. I do whatever yeah. I want. All so right. if I want to put, like, if I write a song today and I want to go live and put mm -hmm. it up on my IG, okay. I do it. Okay. July 14th, the EP drops. That weekend, 16, 17, 18, okay. I'm shooting half my stuff. Okay. The next weekend, I shoot the <clears throat> other half. And then in between, um, once I rest, because my shoot weeks are crazy, I be trying to shoot like, 17 content pieces in three days okay oh, i mean even so. that it could be like a day in a life type of shit where it's like yo okay today i'm working on treatments for the music i got a meeting here i'm about to go meet this stylist it's a new hairstylist that we want to work together you know i have all of this shit happening every day right. um that i just don't document because i'm like okay what, what am i i have like twenty thousand videos in my phone in the middle of doing meetings like this um i have my team calls on Mondays and Thursdays, mm -hmm. we spend sometimes two, three hours. Then I have my conversations with my creative director where we're brainstorming what content pieces we're going to create. Yeah. Um, right now, I just write it on the whiteboard like, all right, podcast, I'll do that Wednesdays. If we do this game show, that's going to be filming on these two days and okay. these two days. Okay. And then I'll fit everything else around it. Okay. Whatever format we can get it to fit into the platform we can run it up that's really just... but also too you know i have my own production house oh, so do you? i can shoot i literally if i know that i'm gonna have a collaborator okay i can make my own like i have to film it okay. you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah um so that means you're able to just pump out content so yeah Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham, and yes, you just saw a lot of points that Money Long just dropped when she was at Triller, and this was this was when the second EP was coming out, right? And I want everybody to really, if you if you didn't catch every piece of game you needed, go back and look at this, right? Seriously, I'm gonna tell you what I got from it. You gotta pre-shoot everything. Or pre-shoot a lot of stuff, right? Because if you don't pre-shoot a lot of this stuff before you really get in gear to go, then you're going to be scrambling to get some of this stuff shot. So all the things that you want to be programmed into your marketing campaign, go ahead and pre-shoot that stuff. And the rest of the stuff that you need to document as you're going along can fill in the gaps so you're not struggling with like underproduction or you're trying to overproduce while you have other things going on. Cater to each platform. Because no one platform is the same. They may seem similar and have similar elements, but the way people react to the content on those platforms aren't the same as TikTok versus Instagram or YouTube versus Facebook. You can also never have too much content. Never, ever, ever have too much content. So do as much as you can before you want to say, all right, it's go time on this album or this EP or this single. Do as much content as you can, record as many songs as you can, stay in content production mode because this is the mode that will let a lot of you all do this thing full time. Independence is always great because you can do whatever you want, right? Stay as independent as long as you can. And with most of you all, you will realize that as you begin to build your systems, you can really stay afloat independently a lot easier than you think you can. Document, document, document the process. I can't say this enough on my channel or on my calls. That's where the first bit of content is going to come from when you start your social media campaigns or when you start telling your story. 
document the process because you don't even have to try to make content. It just happens. It's your life. It's your reality show. It's social media. That's what it is. So you got to put it out there and tell the story so people can get used to you and understand you and become fans of you. Now, one thing that you may not have is a creative team, but if you have at least somebody in your corner that can help you, this will be your creative team. And if you don't have anybody, well, just start with yourself. But start to schedule some content, right? The content that you shoot, start to make a schedule on how these things will come out. And if you need help with scheduling, then find a friend that works in corporate or at least some type of office job that understands some type of scheduling that believes in you. With scheduling, that brings forth goals, okay? So I just want you to keep that in mind. Lastly, that production house that she was talking about is amazing, all right? I want you to just take a look at this behind you. What you see behind you used to be a recording studio. I turned it into a YouTube studio. But you'll find that a lot of artists now will start to have production houses where they may say they'll, they'll rent a place and they'll take a certain corner and turn that into this type of confessional thing. The other side of the house will be the recording studio. The bathroom will be turned into like a makeup studio, whatever. You know what I'm saying? The kitchen, all of that. Because people are renting houses to make content, all right? That's how you're seeing this stuff because content is king. And if you understand that and you're going to monetize that, then you realize that those production facilities or those apartments or houses or whatever they have will pay for themselves. All right. Anyway, my name is Casey Graham. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com. Book a call with me if you need to, if you want to go over this music business strategy. And I'll holler at you all later. Peace. Thanks for watching the show. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com forward slash shop to download all my books and free guides. And while you're there, click on the book a call tab to get a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me to get all your music business questions answered and solved. Thanks for watching.